Felipe Franks will go down. The pocket collapses, and he ends up underneath Christian Barmore. Really good job at a defensive front. Second down, you set the edge against the run. Third down, you earn your right to rush the quarterback, get off the field. Here's Devontae Smith on the return. Breaking tackles. Forty-six. Perfect. Arkansas gets a stop. Alabama settles for three. Delayed handoff to Traylon Smith. He's got an alley. And he's got a first down and more. About 15 yards for Smith. Out to the 40-yard line. On a rollout, it's Franks, and he goes down, forced back inside by Will Anderson, and he lost a yard. So now it's third down and goal at the nine. That's the right decision, and now they got the chance to even the game. And it's Matthew Phillips. His first attempt of the season goes through. On verbal communication, making sure everybody's on the same page. What's the call? What's the adjustment? Their communication is next level as a defense. Vontae Smith with a cutback. Okay, look at all these bodies, okay? Look at all the Arkansas bodies that are going to be really on, what, one-third of the field. Now play it and be ready for the freeze. Now freeze it there. Look at, again, all those bodies. Look at everybody that's left behind. Devontae really only got three guys here in the middle of the field, but look at all this crease that he has with the ability to go run down the field. There's so many guys committed to one side of the football field. Lack of lane integrity. And now he only needs a little crease. That's a huge crease. And he puts one foot in the ground, makes that cut. And nobody is going to catch him with his straight line speed. Give it to those five cuts. Felipe Franks back in at quarterback, second down and eight. And the pocket collapses, and down he goes. Third and seven is a lot easier than third and 12. Here comes a blitz on third and 12. And sack. Will Anderson, the blitzing linebacker, buries Felipe Franks for a loss. His teammates say he's a little of the same. He's one of the biggest trash talkers on the team. Well, it helps when you can toss it to Najee Harris with the stiff arm. Najee Harris with a first down and then some. He's got 17. Now they load up with the extra tight ends. And the handoff to Harris, easily done. His 21st rushing touchdown of the season. And the Tide extend their lead. Tight ends down, down block. You kick out, full back lead up. And it's an easy run for Najee Harris. That's without Christian Harris, who was lost to a shoulder injury on the opening play of the game. Play action for Franks, under pressure. The ball knocked out of his hands. It's loose, and it is scooped up by the Crimson Tide. Chris Allen gets the strip sack of Felipe Franks, and DJ Dale has the fumble recovery just like that. It's first and goal for the Crimson Tide. Felipe's trying to make too much to happen. And then all the Alabama defenders running towards the football. Someone wants to get that scoop. Dickerson getting his wrist wrapped on the sideline. First and goal at the five. Here's Harris. Blasts up the middle at the goal line. Is he in? Yes. That is an Alabama touchdown. Second rushing touchdown and as many snaps for Najee Harris. This is outstanding finish by Najee Harris. They're going to have to first start with the question, can we handle the physicality of their offensive line? And, and I don't know if they can answer that as a yes. One-handed catch for a first down by Brian Robinson. To have the discipline to not make the throw and to take that check down is good. Now he's got a shot down for the front pylon. This is a catch made by Mechie, and they will say it is a completion. A handoff to Robinson. He's got a rushing touchdown. So two for Najee Harris, one for Brian Robinson. 
And Alabama has opened up. Over that big left side of that offensive line again, you pull Ekior, and then Robinson with the finish at the goal line. Play action. Jones has all day. Wide open. Down inside the five yard line is Slade Bolden. Mackett has that in his game. A handoff to Robinson. Reaching for the goal line. And it looks like he's in. His second rushing touchdown. Watch Billingsley, 19 lead block, wrap around underneath the push by the offensive line, and then Robinson with that right arm reach. Of our secondary, he was. And there he is lurking and coming on the blitz. They throw right behind the blitz, and with a crease, it's Mechie. Down inside the 30-yard line to the Arkansas 29. Brian Robinson at the goal line, and for the third time in the game, he is in for a rushing touchdown for Alabama, and they extend their lead. Again, just watch the push by this offensive line. Deontay Brown pulling, Billingsley leading up. Ekior finishing at that goal line again, and then Robinson. I, I think that. Jefferson, he'll be sacked again by Barmore. I mean, after today, I might give it to Barmore. Yeah, he has been unblockable. It's a really, really good play by the redshirt freshman. They'll run a little option here, fake the pitch, and get pounded and lose the football. And it looks like Alabama's got it on a takeaway. And K.J. Jefferson's holding his left knee. And he waited all on that left knee as we take another look at the replay here. A nice fake. But on that hit, the ball was knocked out. Be a team that right now are thought to be arguably the two number one threats to go to the Super Bowl in their respective conferences. I, I just think there's room as this ball is fumbled and it looks like it's going to end up with Joe Boucher of Arkansas. I think there's room for you to play unlike Patrick Mahomes. So after the timeout, Felipe Franks sends Mike Woods in motion and rolls in that direction on third down. Under pressure and down he goes again. Shane Lee gets the sack and let's check in with Matt. Their arm strength, their ability to throw with windows. Smith loses the football. It's another takeaway for the Alabama defense. That ends up in the arms of Jalen Moody. Another fumble recovery for the top with eight minutes to go. Defensively, physically match up with Alabama. That's, That's the question. A backwards pass to Burks. It's a trick play looking for a touchdown. Burks with a jump ball to the goal line. Brian Branch is there for the interception and the touchdown. Boy, that's a true freshman, so schooled, does not fall for the trick play, and he is waiting at the goal line for his first career pick. This is by Malachi Moore. Okay, this is him right here. Alabama is actually going to bring a corner blitz. He's got to go over the top and take that receiver. Okay, so now he's one-on-one -on -one with that receiver. Drift over the top. There's that little fake in route. Still play with leverage and see that tailback going downfield for that extra... Went onto the field and started making checks in practice. His discipline pays off. Alain into the open field. McClellan looking for the goal line. Touchdown. Nothing but true freshmen making plays for the top. Second touchdown of the season for Chase McClellan. Pushed by that offensive line. They're climbing up five, six yards downfield. Creating a huge hole for McClellan. And then his ability, you see Najee running down that sideline with him, but his ability to outrun the defenders. With the routine, I think two things. When you have the great routine that they do. And another sack. And when you have this one to, belongs to Tim Smith. The fifth undefeated regular season since 2008 under Nick Saban. That is number one in college football during that span. And he will take an undefeated Alabama team into the SEC championship game.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.